pretty much run the lower level. I hope I didn't make... I wonder what's taking Hank so long. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Need some work done? We're asking everyone to take care of any leeches on their ships. We don't... Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. No one by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took his ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside a city of ways. I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so. And scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. You're gonna have to ask me yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. That's about it. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. taking Hank so long. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Ah, don't know. Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team. Tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. 
Hey, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job. I will say that I won't officially tell you to do anything to him. But, he's been surly as of late, and always had a weird chip on his shoulder. So if it comes to that, you do what you need to do to protect yourself. Well, see if you can get him to admit it first, and if he does, see if you can get it back from him. If he resists, or otherwise won't tell you what we need to know, then we may have to turn him in. I trust that Sidonia Security will bust him good, but he may not tell him where our stuff is, so see if you can at least get that out of him first. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. Matt would like to join Sidonia in celebrating over 275 years of living on Mars. The United Colonies are proud to support the citizens of Sidonia. can get pretty glum around here. It takes guts and character to be a miner out here. A what? Standing around pointing a cutter at some rocks all day? It sucks, but it's easy, so whatever. Oh, way better than my last job at Chunks, though. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Aw, oh, what? Can't a guy just be friendly like? Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Huh. Okay, you got me. Yeah, I took it. Wanna know why? I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos, screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Hmm. Shit. You could turn me in be in jail and then this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it and then we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. Yeah, yeah. I'm not an idiot. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. I used to recruit miners from the public speed. Hard to shake the habit. Yes. Got cold beers and good atmosphere. about what you said back at the
impressed that you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man forever so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Sorry about all the trouble. You know, it's too bad. I bet I could have made bank on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool mill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best for returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, <sighs> but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? about what you said back at the bar. Almost there, all right. I had to park my ship off a ways so they wouldn't find it right away. <laughs> I'm sure you get it. it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. At least you won't have to walk all the way back. I mean, you know, maybe we'll take the ship back to port and let someone else unload it, save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, uh, see it just up ahead? enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No, we got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Not if I convince them you were behind it the whole time, newcomer. And after I kill you, I'll look like a hero. Wait, you're saying everyone won't get laid off? No, I mean, you don't think they'd kill me over this, do you? Maybe you're right. Damn it. You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea, I, I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it, but will you help me? Please? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't if I were in your shoes. I can start by giving you my gun to prove I won't try to kill you. That's about all I can really do. For real, you made me see what I'm doing is wrong. What? 
just because I'm a miner, I can't have nice things? It was my old man's. He gave it to me when he got his new one. It's older and it's got some issues, but I've been trying to fix it up in my spare time. This was my first big test run of it. Hey, I like how you think. You'd really do that for me? I mean, as long as they get the equipment back, no harm, no foul, right? And if they think I got it back for them, then maybe I'll finally get the respect I deserve. Yeah, 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 I'm down for this. Let, let's do it. Do tell. What took him so long? Wow, is that true, Hank? Sounds like you really gave it to him, eh? Well, good on you then. Oh yeah. Well, I really just wanted to prove myself, you know? Take initiative and stuff. So, I went early to go pick it up. But when I returned to Mars, I noticed that pirates were following me. I diverted from the spaceport and led them into the desert, where I fought them off and drove them away. Oh! It was wild, man. Turns out I had you all wrong, Hank. You'll have to tell me all about it later. Let's allow our friend here to get going, though. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> 